Very good. Yeah, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, Raymond, you're sounding awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's very good. And, uh, you know, I am uh, very also super impressed uh, with, uh, you know, uh, how yeah, the, the little details that we discussed before you were able to implement them so, so fast. That is really, really great. So uh, congratulations. That sounds fantastic. So um, just... Uh, 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 since you are doing so well, then I just had just some minor, minutia, little details for, for us to uh, continue to uh, do a little bit of refinement. Uh, just working backwards, okay? Uh, it was uh, very good. Just make sure when, um, you know, the, the last page, when we get uh, really uh, uh, a little bit excited sometimes uh, when we're playing the forte, the make sure that, uh, that you have to be thinking about the bottom, right? So we have the, our arpeggio. So then uh, sometimes when we start getting a little too excited, start uh, in the fourth after the. And then start getting a little pa, a little too low. Okay. So just make sure that in, in the excitement, we have to, you know, uh, keep. Keep also, you know, you're, we're putting the, uh, pushing the gas, but we, we have to know exactly where that, uh, the break is just in case for the curves, right? So just, uh, just do a little bit of the beginning, okay? And make sure that. Okay, so then we can get those notes. Let me hear it just a little. Excellent, excellent. And the same thing, uh, so it's basically, uh, it, it, it's only basically the the uh, amount of tonguing that we're using. So then, so then you can link just like how you did. So then that, that one has also a uh, nice focus, okay? So then it's not, Okay, so just let's make sure that we continue uh, having, so then it sounds um, fireworks, but you know, uh, like as we know for uh, for those fireworks, um, 
you know, for them to have those chips, everything is very controlled, especially when you when you have it in the little bones for it to go. So when it goes, it has a shape. It's not like, ah, okay. <laughs> so let's just hear one, one last time. Very good, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent. And then, uh, so you see like in slow motion, you see that, that we're getting it's a little, a little uneven. So we can practice it a little bit for it. But then it's basically uh, in a loop of a uh, phrased loop. So it's not, bam, 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 but we are building to the top and then we come down, okay? So. Okay, so even though, I mean, like when we're, um, when we're going a little bit excited, it's a little bit, uh, you know, uh, just uh, let it all go. But the thing at the same time is like, the, the thing that will keep us uh, sort of in control is having the shape for the phrase, okay? So let's uh, just one last thing, one last thing. Just a little bit, and let's, uh, since we're going slow, let's make sure that we can shape the sound so then we don't go, oh, it is basically just like how you were playing in the, in the middle, in the trio, that you're um, making a very beautiful sound there. Right? So we're shaping. It's not, it's not just blowing and then moving the fingers. So we're always shaping the press. So let's check it out. That's, uh, that's what I mean. That's what I call the, that's the, what we're talking about. That's the expensive sound. Yeah, very good, very good. Excellent, very good. So uh, uh, that is excellent. Now, the uh, starting again from the beginning, uh, you know, everything is coming along extremely well, right? Uh, it's just, um, uh, as we discussed before, just maybe uh, a little bit of the phrasing, right? When we are doing um, in this piece, especially you will notice, uh, when you get to play this, uh, uh, I'm sure you get to play it very soon and many times the, the whole concerto, by the time that we get to this movement, the, you know, we, uh, the first movement is pretty long and pretty intense and the second, so by the time we get here, the read will be uh, happy, but maybe a little tired. So you have to, so we have to practice. I would recommend practice this movement with a read that would be less than ideal in the soft side, so that then we learn to control the, the articulation because uh, when when it is uh, when uh, uh, when we use it at the beginning, it's perfectly fine. But sometimes uh, uh, when the read is a little bit uh, tired, then we go and it gets a little ta 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 ta. So we want to make sure that it's melodic, okay? Yes. Okay, fair enough. That, that uh, and the only reason why that's happening is because you know we are a little bit uh, already comfortable and the read is a little uh, easy, easy, tired, right? So let's just practice uh, this articulation going d d d d d d. So for uh, you know big uh, expression, but uh, but always uh, the tongue is like the spatula for the uh, uh, shaping the frosting on the cake. So it's like nice and nice and light. Okay. Very good. Okay, so that articulation, but I don't want you to be, get shy though. Okay, so that was a good process. Now with the spicy meat ball like you did before. Okay, then the thing that will keep it a little bit of life is that they did do si re do pam 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 Then you get the uh, <laughs> then you're gonna get uh, the little second. Hey, I want to say a shout out to my friend John. Yeah, hey, how are you, man? Good to see you. <laughs> but okay, so so. Um, And then, uh, 
see the original, the, uh, the what well, we took the manuscript doesn't have the dozen syllabus, it just has the B flat, right? So that then when we do, you see that it, well, I'm trying to match the color for the B flat. No, no. Okay. So the little grace note, okay? The little grace note is added by Heinrich Berman, okay? So it's sort of like a, it's a way of uh, making it even more uh, flamboyant, right? So it, yes, we want it to stick out, right? But uh, let's, let's make sure that we can do it uh, with the beautiful sound that you're using for the first two, me two measures, okay? So. That's right. Yes, excellent. Okay, so that is really great. Great. Now, uh, in order to get the pum 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 pum, uh, we need just a little bit, a little bit of separation in the syncopation, so that it doesn't sound. So then it's like, a, it is long, but not sustained, right? So then it's like a bell. Bum, bum, ba, ba. So. But you see that there's a little tail of sound, right? But it's not. You see, so I, I'm still blowing air and there's still sound. Yes. Yes, very good. And then let, let's not forget that we're we're going to use that first measure as what? The upbeat for the next one. Do, si, re, do, re, mi, fa, fa, sol, la, right? So we have to make sure that uh, the, the syncopation has a little bit of tension. Do, si, and then, da, da, da. So then it, it helps us for the phrasing. Very good. And then uh, that is absolutely fantastic. Then the last little uh, detail to be just, uh, I mean, you're sounding great, but I'm supposed to be saying stuff here. You know, you're making me work hard. <laughs> so the thing is that um, <clears throat> the little rhythm, to, 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 that, uh, that one also, it's always a little tricky because it's sort of fast, right? No. It's getting a little uh, comfortable, and this one should be like the most ex uh, the the uh, the most explosive little thing. Okay. Oh yeah, it's very good. It's only only the the top one. I'm getting redo do redo do a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Let's imagine that you have a, a downbeat. Yes. All right. That's very good. Now let's put it all together. Those are uh, those four measures. Or six, I forgot to now. <laughs> okay, okay, wait, 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 Okay. So you see, I'm saying that you already count it. Don't count with the clarinet, okay? Just count it in, inside. And then um, for the beginning, I need you to tank up a little bit more. So imagine that you're going to be, uh, you have to be thinking of the orchestra. Bum, 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 bum. You're going to be breathing right there. Okay. So three beats. One. You, 
you see, so then it's basically, if you tank up, you could do the whole uh, few measures in one breath. So then if, if you have a longer line and then you can secure the response, okay? Yes, yes, that's it. But you see, now, the you know, this is, uh, we're splitting hairs, okay? So uh, I while we're doing that, I don't, um, the, the only thing that I would like to encourage you is to not lose the spirit. Though, because yeah, you're doing it very free and uh, with panache and, and freedom. So just keep it like that. You know, all these little details are for us to know and for, uh, and for nobody else to find out. It's like, ah, it sounds so free and sounds very detailed, but we were the details, but, uh, over here, you know, quietly. And then uh, you just have to, over there, you have to toss it. It's a spicy, it's a big salad. Yeah, we want the best little tomatoes. We slice them very well and the little shallots. Ah, is it? But that's over there in the kitchen. Or, you know, now you're playing the magic glass. It's like, oh, look at this. Wow, look at this fantastic stuff. Okay, so just play it out. Let's try it. Yeah, that's excellent. Okay, and then co continue. Yeah, there. so you see that that was very good. The, the little gap. See how we make the A, when we get a diminuendo on the A, we don't just play soft, but we turn it to be from uh, from the bravura to, yes, I'm a virtuoso, but I'm also romantic. Listen to this uh, poetry on this fancy note, okay? <laughs> And then we go back to playing around and being happy, okay? Let's try. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean? So now, now you have virtuosity, you have the spiciness from the syncopations, and then the rhythmic uh, vitality, and smoothness, you see? All of that within two phrases, right? So you show ultimate musicianship immediately, all right? Now let's, uh, uh, please start from the beginning, just all of that, that we just did. Fantastic. That is absolutely beautiful, you see? Then it is really, really great. So I really, really like that. Uh, that's, uh, I would call it uh, about A+. Plus. <laughs> very, very good, very good. Okay, so um, then uh, you did uh, all, all the other little things in, uh, uh, like, I would like for you to, uh, basically what we can do for this uh, movement is cut and paste, right? Basically what we were talking about uh, in terms of uh, the, uh, the, the spots that have the dolce quality, just to make sure that we can make them uh, very nice and, uh, and smooth, okay? So that's very good. Now, uh, like like I said, the, when we go in the um, in the development, right, it's also, uh, I would say, you know, um, for, for me also, I get overexcited to play uh, the fortissimo. <laughs> Okay, so for this, I'm gonna give you a little trick, okay? Now, in the orchestra, when you're playing the solo, you know, the orchestra will go, Wah! Ba -ba -da! and it's just like, it resonates a lot, okay? And there's a chance that you will still be heard, but it's like you're like in the pool and sometimes, <laughs> I'm over here, well, I'm not drowning, right? But we're having fun, but ooh, easy, right? So uh, when we get into that place, 
we sometimes get overexcited and then we try to compensate and that's where we tend to lose the sound. So, because we're thinking, oh, it, it's not gonna project, so then we play too loud. So for that little part, uh, one trick that works is you can try by putting the bell up a little bit. So you're gonna be sort of more forward. Not quite like Mahler, but first of all, it looks really impressive. People like it. It's like, wow, it looks uh, so determined. Right? So it's like pointing a little forward like that. And because it's like that, then the, the sound comes out direct, much more like that. So then you don't have to play too loud and then you can control it. And so it projects better, you get more brilliance, and you don't have to work so hard so you can control it, and it looks good. <laughs> so let's try that, let's try that, okay. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, okay? So you see, it sounds fantastic, okay? So then, because I actually, when I do that, the, the other thing that it helps me is like, oh, because I'm getting this uh, angle, I can look a little bit with the, with the bottom of my eyesight, so I can see a little bit more what's going on here. So that then, I mean, it's just a little bit. It actually makes me feel more secure so I don't move around too much because you don't want it gets a little that we get the ambulance, the Doppler effect. Okay, so for that one. So those four measures, you, you can feel free to be expressive. For those four measures, we have to make sure that we don't fall off our pony. <laughs> That's what I go, oh, yeah, yeah, ah. Okay, <laughs> so uh, so for those four, uh, you know, just make sure that we're right there and then you let go. Okay, so let's see if you can go from there. From there, but don't move around too much. Just bring up the bell. See, bring up the bell, bring up the bell and don't move too much. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You see? So that, that way you have the power, the intensity, and the accuracy. And it looks really determined. All right, all right. You know, it's a, it's a little bit of showbiz. You, know, you have to be, you know, a little bit. <laughs> it sounds great. Uh, congratulations, Raymond. Do you have any questions? Um, uh, yeah, do I... So should I repeat um, the things you told me, like oh, all around the piece? Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, you know, whenever you have something soft, remember it's not, like with the orchestra, it's not going to be always soft in volume, okay? Remember the piano uh, in here, you will see that most of the piano, they put a dolce and everything in there, which means that it's sweet. Go for the color and the character, the sweet expression, first and, and i think that if you think that the dynamic will help you get there right but what you want is uh, to make sure that you have a cantabile style that uh, changes the color because you know you just finished that right and then you can play soft but it's a soloistic soft right It's not that soft. It's not right. So then it's basically so that then when you're doing that, it's just to basically soften the the sound. Like you you did that very well. But it's just always remember that that is more about the character. You have the slick, expressive character, and then the 
uh, determined, you know, megastar character. And you play around with those, and then we do the dynamic uh, to correspond. But first the character, then the dynamic, okay? Okay, okay. Bravo, bravo, very, very good job. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you.